Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Uh, I'm good, teacher. What about you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Uh, so good, so good. Yeah, I'm glad to see you. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> how How was your day today? Yeah, well, this day was uh, interesting. Interesting mm -hmm. in my job, yes. Yeah, also we uh, had, had a lot of meeting. Uh, all that is it is same teacher, but now uh, it's happened something special. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this day, yes. The, this this day I I, I had to uh, present. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. In, in the meeting, I had to present in English um, the result uh, of my department. Oh, <laughs> in, in English. English. Yes, I remember. Oh. I remember. I, I had to improve the English. I had to improve the English. Wow! Yes. Wow, but that's great. Good for you. Yes, yes because because uh, come back, uh, uh, people of the United States because uh, mm -hmm. they have business uh, with our uh, company, mm -hmm. and I had to explain uh, uh, KPIs. KPIs. Yeah, but the what? KPIs. KPI. KPIs. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, uh -huh. uh, about uh, about about the whole process, curing, uh -huh. embellishment, uh, production, uh, sewing. Uh, uh, I I I I felt uh, stressful and nervous. <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, I, I I can imagine. But yeah. but. Uh, I think uh, I I I practice I I practice a, a lot um uh, well was was good was good oh was good well. okay yes. excellent excellent wow but okay. that's wonderful good for you you're you're climbing the corporate ladder yes I I I I thought uh never never is late to learn never no, never is late to learn I had to an... learn I had to learn. Uh, I oh, okay. I this, this day, I, I remember when Carlos uh, Mahiva uh, sometimes told me told me uh, something about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Ah, he told me. Uh, uh, I had to to try. I had to try. We uh, we had it's necessary. We go out the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah, it's yes. true. Yeah. But I, I'm okay. very happy. I'm happy that you're able to um to do that and you have the opportunity at your job to do that. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes we want to do something different. We want to have that opportunity given to us, but it's not, right? So uh I'm glad that you're you're able to do that. Yes. Oh, that's great. All right, guys. Um, well, we're going to start with our attendance um, so we don't lose very much time. So we'll start with um, Ana Lorena Lobato. Corellana. Ana Lorena Lobato. Carlos Alberto Rod eh, Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Uh, teacher present. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Okay. Carlos Mauricio Mentiver Caballero. Present teacher. Excellent. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Excellent. Uh, Ulises Torres Torres. Uh, Ulises. No. Uh, 
Ileana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Morales. Jose Bernardo López Morales. Um, sorry, López Montes, sorry. So, López Montes. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Salvador Pernal Quintanilla. Your teacher. Okay, thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Sal no. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present miss. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Mayra says, oh, uh, Mauricio. Yeah. Me hace el favor de cambiar su nombre para que esté su nombre completo. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonillas Cano. Present. Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening. Wendy, would you do me a favor of changing your name so that it appears the full, your full name? The telephone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right now you just appear as Wendy Ramirez. So I need you to say <laughs> Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Sí, es que eh, no, cada no. vez que usted entra tiene que asegurarse que ese es su nombre completo. Va a estar bien, teacher. Ahorita lo voy a hacer. All right, thank Gracias. you. <laughs> eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. No present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Ir Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay, all right, thank you guys. All right, so we're gonna start right away with our um our class. Yes, I'm teaching. Uh who said they're present? Uh Rafael Serna. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rafael. Okay. All right, please uh tell me if you can see my screen. You see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So this is um the conversation we were discussing yesterday. Okay. Now, what I want you to do right now is notice the words that are in bold. Okay. 
So this this conversation, you're familiar with it because we analyzed it yesterday and we practiced it yesterday. So all I want to do today is to analyze the words in bold. What are the words that are in bold? Do you guys understand the word bold? No, nobody understands words in bold? I, I wrote in the chat. Ah, words in bold. Oh, yeah. What are the words? Any yeah. the... Spanish? The negritas? Uh huh. La, la letra que está más negrita que la otra. This is in bold, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So, the, the yeah, the words that are with a darker black color. That would be bold. The words in bold. So, what are the words that are in bold? The conversation, creating, motivating, and wedding. Exactly. Creating motivating and wearing good okay all right now what kind of words are these what kind of words are these you know there no okay so mm -hmm. they look like verbs right they look like verbs but yeah. i want Sorry? Sorry, the ING form? Right, exactly, the ING form, or more Gerals. properly, yes, more properly, prob properly known as gerunds, okay? So these are gerunds, okay? A gerund is actually very different, like, okay, so in Spanish, how do you say gerund? Gerundio. Good. Gerundio. Except that gerundios and gerunds are different because in Spanish, un gerundio is always a verb. Right? Un gerundio siempre es un verbo. But in, in English, a base no. Form. Mm -hmm. Um. I think in, in, in Spanish, gerundios are like, they are verbs, but in, in different forms, right? Um, oh, but yeah. but in English, it can't, it actually, gerunds are not verbs. They, gerunds are nouns. Okay, they are nouns. Sometimes they are activities. Okay, and sometimes they're not. But these are nouns, not verbs. That's why I don't like to really call it the ing form because the ing form can mean two things. It can be a noun, which is a gerund, or it can be a present participle, which is a verb. So that's why I don't like to really, personally, I don't like to use the word ing the ing form because an ing form is too general okay so these are what we call gerunds okay so i'll write it down here so gerunds are always nouns keep that in mind gerunds are always nouns Okay, got it? And um, present participles are always verbs. Now, both of these structures, people refer to them as the ing form. So just so that you don't get confused like you know 
if you hear the ing form the ing form is a, is very um uh what's the word um very uh, uh general it's very general okay both of it, so ing form can be a gerund or it can be a present participle okay but like i said gerunds are nouns and present participle are verbs does that make sense to you guys or or did i just make things more confusing for you Yes, no, Quentin. Quentin, chicos. Does this make sense for you, what I just said right now, or did I just make things more complicated for you? Teacher, mm -hmm. why gerunds uh, are equal nouns in English? Why? In English, because that's what they are. Simple. Like, I mean, it's like, why are present participle verbs? Because that's what they are. They just, they are verbs. They're always verbs. It's different. Like, that's why I, I need you to understand that rules in Spanish are not the same rules in English. Not always, right? In Spanish, it's one thing because it's one language. And in English, it's another thing because it's another language. So in English... Gerunds are always nouns. Present participles are always verbs. But both gerunds and present participles are referred to as ing form. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah? You. Okay. Um Sounds good? Everybody's clear? Yeah? Okay, um, so now that we understand that gerunds are nouns, we can understand now what, why these these uh, ing forms or gerunds are in the beginning of sentences because notice notice this the the position of these uh, of these uh, gerunds where do you find them what is the position of these of these gerunds the beginning of the sentence exactly they're at the beginning of the sentence now we know that there's only one structure in English that has the verb at the beginning, and that's the, the imperative. But all the other structures in English, um, we start with a noun, right? We always start with a noun. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we, we start with a, as a, a noun, and the nouns are subjects right so we can say i you he she it we they etc cetera, etc cetera. so now that we understand that gerunds are nouns we can understand that it's possible and listen carefully it's possible for an a gerund to be a subject and that's exactly what this is these um in these sentences, the creating, motivating, and wearing, they're all subjects. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe. Tell me. Sorry, but the... But the structure in the sentence all the time they can be they, they can be used as, as a subject or in the place that, that the subject is in the structure or 
Yeah. So because gerunds are nouns, gerunds can be used in the form of a subject or an object. Most of the time, you guys have used them as an object. But now we're learning that gerunds can also be subjects. Does that make sense? Yes, no, please tell me. Siento como, como que, como cuando uno eh, abre una nueva página y empieza mm -hmm. a dar vueltita. <laughs> yes, we have to remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's, 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 it's loading. It's yeah. loading. <laughs> I am lost. Estamos I rebobinando. <laughs> sí. Y es que, okay, yeah. eh, y, 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 les, o sea, les explicaba esto primero porque muchos alumnos tienen problemas entendiendo de que esto no es un verbo. Pareciera un verbo, pero no es un verbo porque en realidad es un gerund. Y los gerunds en inglés siempre son sustantivos. Entonces, como es un sustantivo, puede ir en, las, en, en, en la posición de un uh, pronombre. Um, o un objeto. Yeah? Does that make sense? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Mo motivating uh, in Spanish. ¿Cómo sería? So, in this case, we have motivating employees. Entonces, eh, it's like saying in Spanish, el motivar a los empleados o la motivación a los empleados. Eso, la motivación a los, hacia los empleados es difícil. ¿Ya? Yeah, ¿Does that make sense? Pero nunca motivamos. Yes, ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah? Ok. Because, like I said, we don't in English we don't start we don't start uh, sentences with verbs, except for the the imperative. That's the only exception, and the only the only reason why we do that is because the subject in imperatives is always you. Siempre, siempre. Cuando decimos, for example, sit down, uh, don't be late, uh, come on. Open your books. The subject is always you. So that's why it's 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 given. It's 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 obvious. So we don't need to add the subject. But in English, it's not possible to start sentences with the verbs. It's not. So that's why we understand that this is not a verb. It's a subject. Yeah? It's like, okay, so creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. What does that mean in Spanish? Crear un lugar de trabajo. No mucho. Crear <laughs> would be a verb. Creando? Not exactly, because then again, creando is still a verb. La creación. Yeah, exactly. This would be more like, it's, it's more closely related to la creación de un lugar de trabajo donde okay. los empleados se sientan libres para hacer sugerencias. Yeah, the same thing here, right? La motivación hacia los empleados. O, no, al ver no, La motivación para los empleados. Something like that. Yeah. And then here, 
wearing a uniform. Wearing a uniform. Wearing a uniform, what does that mean? Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. El uso de un uniforme. Yeah, exactly. El uso de un uniforme no es requerido en nuestra compañía. Yeah, exactly. So what you have to understand is that it's not, sometimes we're not going to literally translate from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. Okay? Okay, sounds good? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It makes sense. Ya, 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 um, ya cargó la página. Ya seteamos el disco duro, tío. <ríe> ya resetearon el disco. Sí, ya, ya cargó la página. Ya estamos cargando <ríe> el brain. <ríe> ok, ok, perfecto. Yo sé, toma tiempo a veces entender ese concepto de que los gerundios en inglés no son verbos, sino sustantivos. Pero entre más rápido ustedes eh, van entendiendo eso, entre más rápido se les va quedando eso, más rápido van a entender las cosas en las estructuras en inglés de aquí en adelante. ¿Ok? Ahí van a entender, por ejemplo, algo muy sencillo como esto. I love dancing. I love dancing. What is the subject? Dancing? Subject. No. I love. I, 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 I. Subject, subject, <laughs> yes, I. I. I, I, I is the subject, I. exactly. Um, so what is the verb? Love. 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 Yes, very good. The subject is love. Okay, and what is dancing then? Is that, a, is, that, is that another verb? Do we have two verbs here? Hay dos verbos? Hay dos verbos, si o no? In ING form, the second verb, the dance, dancing. Uh -huh. So, uh, are those verbs, si or no? Si right, there's only, yeah. there's only one verb. Okay, there's only one verb, and the verb is love. So, dancing love. is not a verb. What is dancing? That is not so good. No, it's not a subject because the subject in this case is I because it's at the beginning. So in this case, dancing is what? An Action. object. An object, exactly. This is yeah. an object. And you guys know that objects are nouns. Right? Object. It's an object. In this position, it's always going to be an object. Always. Okay, I can say I love dancing, but I can also say I love um, salsa. It's an it's an object. Okay, I love eh, reggaeton. Oh, I know how to spell it. Okay, I love reggaeton. It's an object. Okay, I love um, chocolate. It's an object. Um, I love um, languages. It's an object. So I love learning languages would be learning is also an object. See? Oh, I see? Yes. Tiene sentido? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, por eso les digo, entre más rápido 
vamos eh, desaprendiendo, porque realmente hay que desaprender, entre más rápido vamos desaprendiendo que un gerundio es un verbo, y, pero ajá, desaprender eso y aprender que en realidad es un sustantivo va atendiendo más sentido a las demás cosas. ¿Ok? So. Teacher, a yes. question. Yes. Uh, in this example, uh, if you write, I love dancing, uh -huh. uh, in Spanish, uh, I guess is uh, me encantan bailar. Mm -hmm. ¿O no? Uh, yeah. Bueno, en español es más común decir me encanta bailar, pero en realidad técnicamente está diciendo me encanta el baile. Ah, ok, ok. Just be, just o because, la danza. Eh, ok, uh -huh. es uh -huh. diferente. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I can uh, write uh, the other form. Uh, for me, I love to dance. But, right, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, that's, know, that yeah, that's that's what we call that's a, that's a different subject though. Sorry, that's a different topic yes. because love yes. is um, one of those um, special verbs that have the two forms. It's what we call verb patterns, and love can have two infinitive or it can have a gerund. And, this, and it means exactly the same thing, okay? Um, so that's a little different, but 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 basically that's what it's saying. It's saying, me encanta la danza. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's, it's different than the mean. Uh -huh. it's, yeah, it's a little bit different, but not really. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Okay. Okay. All right, any other questions? No? Okay, just let me... Let me just... Just give me a moment, guys. So, for example, if if you go, if there is a website that's called Linge. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but if you go to Linge and you type in el baile, la palabra el baile, una de las palabras que le va a salir es dancing. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much that's the idea. Anyway, uh, let's continue. So now that you understand this, this should be a piece of cake. So over here, super, super easy now. Okay. Necesitaba explicarles esto para que entendieran esta explicación. Y por, por eso es de que yo en lo personal no me gusta usar la palabra ING phone, porque después se confunde. <laughs> porque no sabemos si estamos hablando de gerunds o or, or, or present participle. So I prefer to use gerund and present participle. It's, it makes things easier. So a gerund takes the ING syllable at the end of the base form. A gerund functions in the same way as a noun. And as such, they can be used in place of a subject in a sentence. Okay, which is exactly what we've been talking about right now. So a gerund is an ing form. And it acts as a noun. Not a verb, but a noun. 
okay? And because of this, it's possible to use it as an object, but it's also possible to use it as a subject. An example of this is communicating with employees is necessary to know their needs. Recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others. Encouraging subordinates to be successful is essential for the growth of the company. Now, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, we're, the verb that we're going to be using is going to be the verb to be. Most of the time, not all the time. Okay, so this don't don't take this as a rule. Okay, it's not a rule like it's not a one hundred percent rule, but most of the time, so that you understand this a little bit better, eh, we're going to be using the verb to be. So communication with employees is necessary to know their needs. Recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others. Encouraging subordinates. To um, to be successful is essential for the growth of the company. And it's going to be used as a third person singular. So it's always going to be is, if we're going to use the verb to be, or if it's any other verb, it's going to be used as a third person singular. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Questions? Nuevamente está, está cargando la página. It's okay. Está bien. O sea, sí, sí, sí. Si necesita tiempo para cargar la página, no hay problema. O sea, lo importante es que cargue. Questions, ask me, please ask me. It's important to ask questions. Okay, let me let me see if I can help you. In the first sentence, communicating with employees is necessary to know their needs. How would you say that in Spanish? Very good. Uh, can you speak a little bit louder because you did it correctly, but I think it was too too soft. Uh, la comunicación con los empleados es necesaria para conocer sus necesidades. Perfect. La comunicación con los empleados es necesaria para saber sus necesidades. La comunicación. Okay. Recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others. How would you say that in Spanish? Yes, the, the, the idea is communicated correctly, but so that I can, we can continue with the same idea of using a, a, a noun, how would you say that in Spanish, using a noun at the beginning? Conociendo. The article. In Spanish, how would you say? El reconocer el progreso es importante, un factor importante en la motivación de otros. Good. El reconocer el progreso es un, import, es un factor importante en motivar a otros o uh, en la motivación a otro, hacia otro para otros yeah exactly that's the idea okay encouraging subordinates to be successful is essential for the growth of the company or just say that in Spanish
Mm. Encouraging es animar, alentar. Mm -hmm. Entonces, el, el animar a tu subordinado puede ser exitoso y es esencial para el crecimiento de la compañía. Ok, el animar, el animar a los subordinados para que sean exitosos es esencial para la, el crecimiento de la compañía. Ok, el animar, el animar a los subordinados. Ok, ¿Does that make sense? Tengo una pregunta. ¿Qué pasará si yo lo tomara literalmente lo que estamos hablando y yo dijera the fact of recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others? ¿Es correcto o necesariamente tengo que comenzar de un solo con el, con el noun? O sea, with, si lo with tomara, the Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It, like there are many ways to say the same thing. So if you want to do that, that's fine. That's okay, no problem. But this is one way that we can use uh we're, this is this is use what we're learning is that it's possible to use a gerund as a subject. That's what we're learning. Okay? So yes, your the answer to your question is yes, it is possible to do it. But what we're concentrating here is on one of the forms to do this. And one of the forms is using gerund as a subject. Okay. We are falling step by step. Ahí vamos. Mm -hmm. Llegándole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Ya casi está como un 80% de carga. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Questions. No, no se preocupen que, que para que si necesitan uh, llegar todavía al 100% de carga, puede ser que lo necesiten solamente uh, lo que necesiten es, es la práctica. Así que no se preocupen todavía. Lo que quiero saber es si la teoría está bien. Do you have any questions about the theory behind this? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So what we'll do then is um we will do this exercise here, which is complete the sentences with gerunds. Uh, then compare your answers with a classmate. Discuss if you agree or disagree with the motivational factors that the, the sentence describes. So it's very simple. All I need you guys to do is to put the verb that is in parentheses in the gerund form to make the, the verb a subject, to change the verb into a subject. Okay, is that pretty clear for everybody? And then after you've done that, don't just say, oh, we're done, we're finished. No, what we'll, what we'll do is we will, um, we will discuss with our, our partner if you agree with the sentence. Okay, not not agree that 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 is correct, but agree on what it says. Okay. Okay. 
So I have sent in the WhatsApp group, I have sent um, the image. And what I'm going to do right now is I will um, I will put you guys into breakout rooms so that you can do the exercises. Okay, um, can I please have everybody turn on the camera so that I know who's there and who I can put in which group? So everybody, can you please turn on your camera? That way I know. Because I, what I don't want to have, I don't want to have groups where like, they're telling me, teacher, I don't have anybody to work with because everybody here doesn't answer. So I, I, that's why I need to know who's here. Okay, thank you. Jose Salvador, Bernard, are you there? Okay, perfect, thank you. Kevin Alfredo, are you there? Kevin Alfredo? Rafael, are you still having problems with your audio? Rafael, I guess so. Okay, Ricardo? How about you? Are you there? Um, I'm here, but I am a little busy with my work, so I will not participate. Okay. All right. Sorry. All right. Sandra? Sandra Vigain? Sandra, are you there? Uh, Edwin? Edwin Antonio? Edwin Antonio. Edwin, are you there? Okay, and Carlos Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto? Are you there? Okay. All right, so now I should have everybody with a group they can talk, they can work with. Um, so I'm gonna give you about, about eight minutes. Remember, it's not only to complete the exercises, but also to discuss with your group um, if you agree with the sentences or not, okay? Any questions? No. Okay. I'm opening the groups right now. Um, Juan Carlos, se acaba de salir. Uh, I lost connection right now. Oh. Uh -huh. Reconnecting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me a moment. I'm going to assign you then to a group. I just want to make sure that... Okay, there we go. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Are you having problems with the connection?
All right, guys, any questions? Something you want to ask? Teacher, únicamente vamos a cambiar. Perdón? Únicamente vamos a cambiar el, el verbo. El, ¿Sí? En, en nombre. You have to put it in the gerund form, but you also have to discuss if you agree with the sentences or not. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So you have to say, yes, you know, I think this is correct, or no, I don't agree with the sentence because of this, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Okay. Okay, you can see the screen. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, guys, so you can go ahead. It goes. Okay. Do you understand what you have to do or, or are you not clear about that? Yes, miss. Yeah, you do understand? Yes. Okay, so go ahead, you can. Guys, I, I want to hear you all talking and discussing. Eso se trata. Because I have an inconvenient. Se escuchan entre ustedes. ¿Qué, qué pasa? Porque no, no veo que están platicando. Ya tenemos frío. Chicos. Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Okay, the question number two. For why? Do you agree with the number four is establishing? Establishing? Establishing, yeah. The number five. 
the number five. What did the number four, number two, I'm sorry. Number two, providing. Providing, I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry, number four, right? No, number four, right? Um, y información a tiempo, más o menos. Yo entiendo que es correcto, eh, facilitando, facilitar uh -huh. las herramientas esenciales a los empleados que ellos necesitan para desarrollar sus, sus deberes. Es crucial, uh -huh. es crucial para mantenerlos satisfechos con, eh, con su trabajo. Correcto. correcto. ¿Are you agree, Wendy? I guess, I guess so. Ok. Eh, number four. Establishing, establishing, establishing. Real communication channels. El establecer canales de comunicación clara es claro. esencial, para los Son, es esencial para los empleados para que puedan expresar sus sí, sugerencias. Su, su información. Eh, su sugerencia en, en timely, por es de mi timely. Timely information. Timely, timely. What is the meaning? Oportuna. In Spanish. Ah, ok, oportuna. Ok, le establece. Establishing. Le establece. Sería establecer, ¿verdad? Establecer canales de comunicación claros es esencial para los empleados para expresar sugerencias y, e información oportuna. Ok. Go ahead, George. Go ahead. Number five. Respecting. Respetar, respetar la opinión de otros es importante para mantener comunicación abierta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. We are learning. <laughs> Respecting. Number six. Promo promoting. promoting. Mm -hmm. healthy, healthy relationships with your teammates. Teammates is an important factor to keep. Motivation, motivation, yes. motivation apps. La motivación, ¿cómo sería? La motivación. Promover saludable. relaciones saludables con tus equipos de trabajo es, import, es un factor importante para mantener siempre una alta motivación o una motivación alta. Y en ese caso, ¿no sería promover, el promover relaciones sanas? Sana, se, puede, ¿no? se puede interpretar así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sana. Ok, sanos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es importante para mantener la motivación. Ok. Ok, I, I agree. What else? What else, what else guys? Wow. The other... The other... The, 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 building the, vocabulary. Vocabulary? Ok, uh, building vocabulary. You use your dictionary to find the definition of the terms extrinsic and intrinsic. Uh, next, classify 
the incentives in the box below in the correct category. Extrinsic or intrinsic? Incentives, intrinsic reward. Uh, uh, do you remember what is the mean? Rewards, rewards, rewards. No. Do, do you know? Reward. Reward. What is the mean? I don't remember. Is in what Spanish is the compensas. The compensas. Ah, okay. Intrinsic. Main. Okay. Ah, okay. Intrinsic. Okay. But I don't know what is the meaning in English. Meaningful. I, I don't know because intrinsic rewards is recompensa intrinseca in the traduct. Yes. Translate. But I don't know if I, I think I, I think in intrinsic in intrinsic intrinsic reward is uh when we when your boss give you uh rec rec reconocimiento uh, no tangible no tangible okay yes yes you have a reason for example you have a reason. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's for example it's like the um, I don't know when you uh, only um, talk with the employees and recognizing your good job, but only uh, with the different phrases. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. See, this is very important. Very important. That's true. Yeah. 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 Sometimes uh, they disrespect our opinion. So when that happens, we have conflicts. So because just because uh, some of the persons that are in, uh, discussing some some topic don't respect the opinion of other. So sometimes, sometimes, always. <laughs> Almost always, they they are they aren't polite. <laughs> Ninety nine percent of the time. <laughs> Ninety nine. <laughs> okay. With the last, promoting healthy relationships with your teammates is an important factor to keep motivation up. Okay, let's see. I think it is it is more than necessary because if you have a healthy relationship, uh, you have a better communication with all others, uh, teammates or areas. So the the communication channels are efficient are more efficient than if you don't have healthy relationship with other people. Yes. yes and, you also... and you avoid a lot of problems too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, also you have a better result because the people uh, working more motivated. Yeah. I agree because promoting healthy relationship will increase the respect because this is so important because if we lose we first lose the after that we entonces sería algo externo ¿no? es algo aparte algo que se que se adhiere al, al en el momento mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Yes, what? It's done, teacher. Okay, you finished. All right, perfect. See you in the main room in a moment. Okay. But we are six. <laughs> we are in the number six, so. Yeah. All right, are you guys finished or do you need more time? 
No, teacher, we are teacher, finished. we did it. Okay, I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Sí que está lloviendo fuerte donde está Juan Carlos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I changed my, my background. Because. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Before a moon. Ajá. Yes, it's, I can see it's, it's raining a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So today, tonight there is not a clear night. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Um, está lloviendo fuerte en muchos lugares por ahí. In my house, yes. Yes, it's hot. In town, the weather is hot. Oh, really? Yes, it's hot, the weather now, in this moment. Oh, okay. Wow. Nothing, nothing water, nothing rain. No. It's just hot. It's hot. Yes. Mm. I, 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 I like to go to sleep when, when it's raining. Mm -hmm. I sleep, it's, uh, I sleep very, very nice. Peaceful. Yes. Peaceful. You're peaceful. Oh, peaceful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's it's nice. Like, the rain is very relaxing. Yes, yes, a, a lot. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to go to to sleep with the rain. Yeah. Yeah, I like so much when when uh, the when the raining fall in, in the roof. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, the song. <laughs> many many, many people. Many people don't, don't like the, 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 the sound, but I, I like Oh, yeah, the sound uh, can be very calming. Yes. Yeah. But I don't have Sinkaloom. <laughs> <laughs> I have Sinkaloom. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Osman has roofing or something like that. Ah, there is. For, for us, good. the poor people that have Sinkaloom in the north, it's not sound. No, no, it's no. Nice. I, I, no, well, no guys, what is... I, 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 I told you, I told you, I like the lamina t shirt. It's the lamina. 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 It's Yes. Mm. No, it's a lot only, of noise. Only just, 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 just a comment. Okay. <laughs> it's my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, th I think it, it all depends. Like, I maybe, maybe once or twice, it's nice, but then every day it can, it can get a little bit annoying. Yeah. I or also I, I don't know if you if you enjoy when uh, there is a. In Spanish, temporal, temporal. Yeah, but we have long time. Eh, the 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 reason temporal. Tengo mucho tiempo que no sea temporal. Yeah, that for me is depressing. <laughs> I, I I yeah I, I hate seeing the um the sky cloudy, like all the time. Ugh, that's so depressing for me. Super depressing. I hate when they close on yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. In temporal, the, yeah. the clothes, it's, it's yeah. too hard to dry. <laughs> you have to put it behind the, the, the refrigerator. The refrigerator, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yes. I know also it's a problem for many people because maybe they live in dangerous sun. Yes. 
That's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are going to check the answers. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Okay. So the first one, getting paid vacations is a great motivational factor for employees to work hard. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree with that? Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? What do you think? Yes, teacher, I agree, providing. Yeah? Me too. No, 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 the first sentence. Do you agree with the first sentence? Getting paid vacations yes, yes. is a great hey. motivational factor for employees to work hard. Yes, teacher, uh, I, I agree with this sentence. Yeah? Yes, yeah. in family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... In include the family. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it would include the family, <laughs> but... It, just getting paid vacation. So basically, mm -hmm. um, like thinking, oh, you know, I after a year I get to have paid vacations. Is that a very great motivational factor? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Next, number two. Number two. Providing, providing, teacher? Providing. Yeah, providing. Providing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. So providing uh, praise to employees when they have accomplished a task, it successfully reinforces their good performance. I'd rather bonus. <laughs> it's, it's better. <laughs> I prefer so, the bonus. So you don't, you know, you don't think that's a very good motivation. Yes. No, not really much. No, you're not very motivated by having praises. Yes, it's good motivating, but the same in the same time, you maybe you can. Or a, a bonus or <laughs> or extra extra pay <laughs> extra pay okay all right um okay so getting praises is good right so but you want something more okay <laughs> okay good um It's not like, for example, I, I'm not going to say the, the name of the company, but my friend once, uh, she was working at this company where they were um, working in the administration department and they had to uh, change all the information from one system to another. And so they had to literally like, it was not done automatic. So they had to literally take the data from one system and put it onto another system. And it took them like, I think about two months to do. And they would stay in their, like they would stay very late working. Sometimes they would leave their, their workplace at nine, 10 at night. And they, my, my friend told me that sometimes she would, she would eat from her desk. Like she'd be having lunch at her desk because she couldn't, she couldn't move. And then they thought that oh they're going to get overpay, um like you know like like an o like OT like overtime. And um, and all they told them was like, oh you know your pay is like having the satisfaction of knowing that you did your job very well. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so yeah. So actually, yeah you know so it happens it happens right so mm -hmm. so it's like good job good for you and that's it <laughs> you know? yeah so 
Well done. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, you're the employee of the month. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, next. Um the okay. Number three. Yes. Facilitating. Facilitating. Good. Facilitating. Facilitation. Yeah. Facilitating. Facilitating. facilitating the essential tools employees need to perform their duties is crucial to keep them satisfied with their jobs. What do you guys think? Completely true. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. You agree with this? Everybody agrees with this? Yes, teacher is yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Number four. Establishing. Establishing. Establishing clear communication channels is essential for employees to express suggestions and time, timely information. What do you guys for think? Me, of course. For me, of course. Yeah, you agree? Yeah. Everybody agrees? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, uh, number five. Number five. Respecting. Yeah. Respecting the opinions of others is important to keep communication open. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree? Respecting the opinion of others is important to keep communication open? Yes, I agree. It's very important, the opinion. Yeah? Yes, I agree. You agree? I agree. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. And finally, the last one. Promoting. Good. Promoting. Great. Promoting healthy relationship with your classmate is an important factor to keep motivation up. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How many... Yeah. How many of you have ever worked in a place where you have a very bad environment with your with your teammates? Have you ever worked in an environment like that? Where your teammates are like yeah, they're you don't have a good relationship with them? Has that ever happened? Never? You've never worked in a place like that? No? No. Wow, you guys are lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, because that's, that's really, um, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's really important to be able to work in a place where you feel that you can t work with your with your coworkers and all. Um, okay. Now, do you guys know the difference between extrinsic and intrinsic?
you guys know the difference between intrinsic and intrinsic? Sorry, extrinsic and intrinsic. Uh, teacher, I, I, I understand. Uh, in my way, uh, incentives intrinsic. Uh, we don't, we don't can touch. Yes, and extrinsic uh, is more physical. It's a incentive, in physical incentive. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, uh, 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 there is a you, you can you can touch you can you can you can you can see. Uh, for example, uh, the bonuses. Uh, there is something you can you can touch. It depends, depends. But uh, generally, generally you you can you can touch and you can you can see it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to actually get you guys to do is the following. I'm going to write the two words in the chat. Okay, so do you see it in the chat? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you back into the group and you're gonna find, you're going to find the meaning of these two words. And then we're gonna be discussing them as a group again. Okay, so we all understand the meaning of this because if we don't understand um, the meaning of these two words, we won't be able to um, discuss the rest of it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put you back into the in your, into your groups, okay? Here we go. Okay, Jose Salvador, Emerson, are you guys there? Yes. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and uh, find out the, the meaning of those two words. Okay, puede poner en el grupo de WhatsApp la imagen esa, por favor. Hello. Sorry, my internet is very slow. Uh, for this reason, my camera is off. Yeah. Many of but.
We couldn't finish. You couldn't finish? <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay, all right. Well, uh, what about the other groups? Were you able to finish? Mm -hmm. Were you able to finish or no? Say no, everybody. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> No. Okay. All right. I'll give you how much more time do you need? Maybe five oh, minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> minutes. Ten minutes. No, no, no. I'll give you <laughs> I'll give you four more minutes. That's it. Four minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 was nice i think that many companies has the different benefits yes, yes. Uh, in this country uh, that uh, many good companies in the same or just in the same uh, way for example right now i work for the uh, garden yes this company is 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 so good Yes, we have many benefits. Uh, we have many awareness for the different um, uh, when you achieve different goals, many different for the employees. But for me, uh, I agree with your opinion. Fruit of the loom is well, well, 
was different because right now the this uh, they have many problems. Uh, yes, yes. But I don't know. Uh, uh, but uh, I had two, two questions. Do you work in in Garden Chachuapa or just Chachuapa? I just in Export Salva. Export Salva, yeah, yes, yes, right. uh, Export Salva. In, uh, yes, I start uh, in in Chachuapa City. Yes. Ah, Chachuapa City. Yes, in do you know 20, you know? 2017. 2017. Okay. Yes. okay. I have you you will have a lot of uh, problems with with your job because it is intrinsic that the job always will have problems. Uh, you you can't avoid it. I don't know if I I explain what I yes. uh, what I am thinking. <laughs> yeah, I got your idea, but. In my case, uh, I was reading about that, and, and I was reading that intrinsic, intrinsic and extrinsic, both are for feeling or emotion, right? In this case, in is for example when you say "I mean into you," for example, right? That is something that that is that become from yourself to out because you wanted to because you love. Uh, and it doesn't matter what you have to do, how many effort it will take, but you want to do it and you love it, you enjoy it. This is intrinsic, right? And extrinsic is when you do anything because you need to earn money, get a bonus or, or something like that. Be In Spanish, that maybe would be Trabajar bajo presión. I understand. Algo así. Porque, because I read that the two words are for, for motivation. All right, guys and girls, so could you share with me what you discovered about the word extrinsic? Start with extrinsic. What did you understand by the word extrinsic? Extrinsic. Yeah. Is a person with extrinsic motivation motivation when to do tax in the order decided and external reward or avoid a punishment. Example. If you eat your vegetable, you will get you deserve so you eat, then to get the reward. Okay. Understand it? All right. What do you guys think? Does that make sense? What do you say? Does that make sense? Uh, if you eat your vegetable, no, 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 I, I, yeah, I'm just asking the other class, the other, your other classmates, okay. did it make sense? Did that make sense to you guys? Okay. Yes or no? No. Yeah. 
Yes. No. Class. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Anybody want to add something else? Anybody want to add? No? So that's it? Everybody is okay with that definition? <laughs> really? Uh, uh, to be honest, teacher, uh, that word is in difficult for me. Okay. Uh, in Spanish, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure in Spanish what is the meaning. So uh we try to search something in internet and I get so confused. <laughs> More okay. at the beginning. So <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, how about it? Let, let's let's start then with intrinsic. What do you understand by intrinsic? Miss, I was looking in internet. Uh -huh. And so I find that it is a feeling or a motivation, right? In this case, intrinsic would be similar to the word I am into you because that, that is something that is inside you, that you love it, yeah? Uh -huh. That you do it because you enjoy it doing. It doesn't matter how much effort it will take to you for, for done, even though you do it. It doesn't matter because you want to get the satisfaction that you did it, okay? Mm -hmm. And extrinsic is different because you work hard, but you are waiting for something special, something mm -hmm. additional, for example, a bonus or, or any else. That's what we were discussing in our team, yes? Yes. Okay. Good. You're 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 getting very close. Yeah. That you're you got the 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 idea there. Um. Okay. Anybody else want to add to that? Yes. We share with we discuss with Carlos and Cifrido that extrinsic uh -huh. is your when you do the activity the activity to gain a uh, rewards or uh, extra for your job. This is extrinsic for for us because we discussed that is is an external reward that you you can earn for your extra job or extra effort to do something. Yes. And intrinsic is is that the the activity because is in is is a essential or important that that activity that you have to do. Right. Yeah, and, and the word is essential is actually a very big part of the word um, in, intrinsic. So mm -hmm. intrinsic is actually something um, that is part of the nature of that thing. So it's inside of it. It's not yeah. an external factor, but it's actually part of, of the whole. So um, it's something, obviously, I think. It's, sorry, because could you... Can you repeat obviously. that? It's Obvious. something obviously, yes. Okay. Because if we are talking uh, about the snow, all uh -huh. people know the snow is white. Right. It's something intrinsic. Because right. the snow all the time is white. Right. So if you go to work in some place in for that activity, they have to pay you. So that is intrinsic. But extrinsic is... I am in my job, but I want I need to uh, earn more more money. I have to do the extra overtime or be the number one in sales mm -hmm. to receive an extra bonus. So for that reason, it's extrinsic. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to do in uh, extra just for get something extra. That is extrinsic, or <laughs> oh, that is that I something that I can understand about the the word. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I think. Uh, I'm gonna give you 
an, an example that may help a little bit. Um, you want to get on the soccer team. Okay, you want to be part of the soccer team. Now, you have cleats. You have cleats. You understand cleats? No. Cleats are the type of shoes that you use to play uh, soccer on a field. So they are like these special shoes that have these like bumps at the bottom. In, in, you know, those are cleats. Okay. So you have cleats. You have the external part that will help you. Yeah. To play soccer. So that would be extrinsic because it's not part of you. The cleats are not part of you. Okay, they are something extra. But it's not enough to have the cleats. In order to get into a so on a soccer team, it's not enough. You have to have something inside of you, which is the technique, right? You have to have good technique to play soccer in order to get on the soccer team. So without the, the technique, even if you have the cleats, it doesn't really work, right? So first you have to have something, the asset, the essence in you, which is having the technique, good technique for, um, or, you know, your, to, to play soccer. And that would be intrinsic. That's part of you. Your, your skills that you have as a player are something intrinsic. Your cleats are extrinsic because they're not part of you. Yes, they will help you to, to do your job better, uh, to, to play better, but it's not part of you. Does that make sense? Will that help to understand intrinsic and extrinsic a little better? Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay, so so extrinsic, sorry, intrinsic is something that is part of the essence of the thing or the person. It's it's a whole. It's part of the whole. Okay, whereas extrinsic, it's it's something external from from the the essence. Okay, so keeping that in mind. The, does that make sense a little bit now? Or are you still a little confused? No, it's clear. It's clear. Yeah? Okay. So keeping that in mind, let's look at this. So we have uh, in incentives. Some incentives can be intrinsic and some can be extrinsic. So like I said, think of intrinsic as being part of it, the, essence, the essence of the job. And put think of extrinsic as being outside of the job. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to categorize these words. What would be incentives, incentives that are intrinsic and which ones would be extrinsic? Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to do that.
How are you guys doing? You guys finished? Yeah. Anybody need more time? Do you guys need more time? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's start with the first one. Meaningful work, extrinsic or sorry, intrinsic or extrinsic. Intrinsic. 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 Right. Very good. Intrinsic. Bonuses. Extrinsic. Extrinsic reward. Extrinsic. Good. Extrinsic, Extrinsic reward. Good. good. Health insurance. Extrinsic. 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 Healthy relationships. Intrinsic. Intrinsic. Good. Intrinsic. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. This one. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, vacations. Extrinsic. Extrinsic. The uh, promotions. What's Extrinsic. Progress and training. Intrinsic. Sorry. Intrinsic. In intrinsic. Intrinsic. Mm -hmm. Very intrinsic. good. Intrinsic. Praise and feedback. Extrinsic. Extrinsic. Good. Participation and decision making. Intrinsic. Good. Intrinsic. Recognition and fun. Extrinsic, maybe. Extrinsic. Good. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Any questions? No. 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 Okay. All right, let's clear that. Okay, now let's take a look at the different um, theories uh, of employment motivation. So I'm gonna need volunteers to help me read about these three theories. Second. Okay, so I'm going to need three volunteers to help me read about scientific ma management theory, McGregory's theory X and theory Y, and Alch's theory Z. Who wants to read scientific management theory? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Anna Lorena. Okay, it assumes people are already motivating and willing to continually work harder and more effectively payment is done on the basis of quality and amount of work okay 
Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so basically, this would be very like people expect you just to have a lot of um, intrinsic uh, rewards, right? Okay. Next. Uh, who wants to read McGregor's theory X and theory Y? Okay, go for it. Ma McGregor theory X and theory Y. Theory X is pessimistic assumption that employees are solely motiv motivated by sustain sustainable Sustainable. It's sustainable. Sustainable. Sustainable income. Mm -hmm. Theory Y is the assumption that employees are more motivated and work for no direct reward. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have basically uh, the theory X. Yeah. is um, everything is ex in extrinsic. Um, and here, theory Y is everything is intrinsic. Intrinsic, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, very good. Ouchie's the uh, theory Z. Who wants to read about that? Ouchie's theory Z. Volunteer? Come on, just just reading, guys. Only reading. Come on, guys. Me, did you? Okay, thank you, Jorge. Uh, so, or, sorry, when only... Uh, when start? Oh, she's theory. Mm-hmm. Okay, Oki's theory is it. it focuses on motivating employees through the stable employment and the well-being of the employee both on and um, off the job. It promotes high productivity, moral, and satisfaction. Thank this you. This theory, oh, oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so basically here in Alchis Theory X, we want stable employment uh, and the well-being of the employee. Okay, so and well-being of the employee is not just at work, but also at home, right? So it promotes high productivity, morale, and satisfaction. So these theories are helpful to understand management and motivation, but most managers will employ a combination of needs, extrinsic and intrinsic factors in an effort to motivate employees, right? So um, most of the time, the managers will understand that employees need extrinsic and intrinsic factors. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Questions, guys? Okay. All right, we're going to stop there for a moment. Or uh, for, for as better said, for the moment. Um, and we're going to be taking attendance. Um Just a second, guys.
Um, okay, so we're starting with Ana Lorena Lovato, Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Cepeda, er, Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Eh, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Liana Rebeca. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present miss. Thank you. Jose Carlos Arqueta Romero. Jose Carlos. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Oh, ok. Jose Carlos. Ok. Yeah, we can't hear, you can't hear, we can't hear you very well. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Jos Jos Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, miss. Thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Okay. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Eh, Mina Elizabeth Alvarenca Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Y Eduardo Antonio Megaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so if there is anybody that needs a little extra help with um, any particular thing, um, anything at all, I can, I'm can. i here to help you. Um, you can stay after class. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? So take care. See you, have a good night. Teacher. Bye, Miss. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Teacher, I have a, a question. Okay, if you want, you can stay eh, behind. El día de hoy recibimos un, un mensaje de que el siguiente módulo Comienza el 30. Pero según mis cuentas, teníamos todavía una semana. Esta es la última semana. Esta es la última semana. Ok, ¿cuándo termina el, el módulo? Viernes. El, ajá, el viernes. Ok, sí, es que eh, como la, la charla la van a dar el jueves, eh, no, no me entró la duda de que. ¿Cuándo es que íbamos a terminar? Sí, ajá, va a ser el, sí, el 30. ¿El 30? Eh, perdón, eh, el, no, perdón. Um, o sea, el 30 empieza el, el, el nuevo. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. ok. Bueno, muchas gracias. Ok. You're welcome, you're welcome.
Good night. Good night. Anybody else have a question? No questions? <laughs>